is Joy, the Cobb chick with the Keystone Cottage. A lot of you know that in the past I have built a Cobb dog house, so I wanted to show that to you today. I also have some young people helping me. All right, this is my nephew and niece. This is Mackenzie. Hi. And this is Alex. All right, waving down at his waist, I guess. <laughs> okay all right and actually alex doesn't remember this too much um but uh this was built when he was about three and you're six now mm -hmm. right and Mackenzie, how old are you now eight eight okay yep so this was built about three years ago here let's show everybody the inside just a second yeah the little mosquitoes are starting to come out so they're like oh get us inside so right here uh sorry about the sun glare right here we have a little bit of a um uh, um, lintel right here, a cross beam across the top, and this is support to support the weight of the cob across the top. So, all right, in here, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of creepy. All right, um, this is actually a doghouse that was built for my parents' dog. It's been, uh, I guess, uh, abandoned <laughs> for a little bit, um, but it's just something that the dogs used, you know, just in the afternoon when they came out and chill. You know, we live in the country, so it's not a big deal. But I did put an angled roof on it. And just to show you real quick the roof here, the only damage this is taken out of like three hurricanes is right here. A limb landed on it and busted it a little bit, but the cottage itself is fine and perfect. I also wanted to walk you around the sides here just a little bit. And I didn't do real high off the ground. I actually had some leftover block um, just around. So I just kind of placed that along the bottom to elevate the cob just a little bit. But right here, all right, if you notice, Let's see, the temperature right here is just under 80 degrees. Um, there we go, just under 80 degrees. I also have a thermometer on the wall um, on the house, and it is just under 90 degrees. So you can see a difference, even in a dog house. This is, the walls are maybe six inches thick. Um, it's a difference of like 10 degrees. And I know that's crazy putting a window in a dog house, but at the same time, I also wanted to exercise a little bit of like solar, thermal, cooling, warming, things like that. And notice the shade line right here. This is nice too because it kind of helps keep this side of the doghouse cool where the door is on the other side. I wanted to walk around the back a little bit. All right. So I have some of these beams sticking out. I was going to go through and saw them off with scrap, you know, just scrap pieces. And I just honestly haven't done it yet. Plus, I didn't know if I'd be adding on as far as a roof or whatever. This is the underside. So this is where it slants down more. And uh, actually where... The beams where the roof kind of did a little ripple. I just kind of put some little beams under there too to support it a little bit, which I think was very instrumental in helping with the hurricane. All right, so I'm going to step back just a little bit. Try to give you a little bit more of a glimpse here, right there. And actually, I put some bricks here at the bottom because uh, we, we would put some hay in there and the dog would like push it out and, you know, shove it out when he was trying to get comfortable. So I figure the little bricks there would just, you know, kind of hold it in place and keep the hay in there. And it did a wonderful job. And in fact, um, the walls are caved in a little bit here and on the other side, not caved in, but um, worn in basically, because the dog would uh, go back and forth, zigzag and go like rub and then rub, 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 you know, to get a little bit of his back scratched, I guess. So, and towards the back, you can see, um, I apologize, it's not so pretty looking. By the way, happy Halloween. But um, I did a little bit of adobe brick right there in the back upper section. You can kind of see some of that. And then on the outside, I smoothed it over a little bit. But that is like an adobe block. Um, you know, it's just easier at that time to do some adobe blocks. So that's what I did. Put in this lintel. Um, added the roof. So let me step back just a little bit so you can maybe get a glimpse of the side here that I have. All right. So... Thank you for watching so much. I appreciate everybody. I appreciate your support. Please hit like, subscribe, and comment. And... Comments down below. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.